So thank you, Franz, for, for uh, talking with us about the upcoming Insight Conference. You were a main speaker in Insight 2019. So my first, yeah, I, have, I have four questions. Yeah. So my first one is very, very general. You've been asked a lot of times, what in, in your lifetime, biographically, what brought you to psychedelic research? Uh, interest in uh, the foundation of having a self or an ego. I was very interested since I was 17, reading Siddhartha from Hesse and other things. What's going on? How is the brain doing that? Uh, generating a feeling of a sense of self. So, so and then I had some experiences later that brought me on the right path. So interesting. So a few decades later, you are studying the self. So that's that's what that what interests you a lot. And your talk will be about the role of the self in the treatment of depression and how psychedelic experience could change the relationships of what structures the self in the brain. Uh, can you elaborate a little bit why the self is so important uh, in depression treatment? I think uh, that uh, it's a characteristic of depressed patients that they, have, they are more self-focused, uh, kind of egocentric, that uh, are thinking about themselves, that everything is taken in and looking inward and this attachment of thoughts and feelings, we call rumination, going circles, has to do how you attach things to yourself. And by losing the self boundaries, you start to get a, another perspective on yourself. So you do not attach the thoughts and feelings and sensations to your own body and what you experience as an ego. So you get a kind of decentering, like in deep meditation, you start to observe from a meta awareness, hey, this is my behaving pattern. So it becomes much more aware how you are structured. And that is what you take into the psychotherapy that you have aha experience. You experience it. It's not a thinking about it, it pops up. And I think but this is all very interesting. So, but I also hear uh, concepts that you are using that are far beyond the neurobiological terminology. Uh, so, after a few decades in neurobiological research, are you really coming back to psychodynamic concepts? Uh, it was a starting point. <laughs> uh, I was really in love with cohort and self object theories and how we bind to us. I think it goes hand in hand. So I even think that the psychological models go much deeper than the brain models we have. It's just an approximation to deeper functional things in the, in the psyche. So uh, if my heart is going with the or laws of the psyche and then see how is the brain possibly uh, enabling that. So, but I wouldn't start with the brain. So last question, uh, is there a role for humanistic concepts and art and uh, these more creative method methods in future psychedelic therapy? Yes, I think so. Uh, I have done a study with uh, art students and non-art students, giving them psilocybin, and they had to copy a picture. And uh, we just wanted to see how, what do they do with, with their task they have to do? And do they have a breakthrough? Do they go away from, from their real, what we had asked to do them? Do they become more creative and going over the boundaries? And that's exactly what many of them have done, so. It's a very powerful tool to open up something as in people that are not really artistic. So they start to explore uh, alternative possibilities, yeah. the more fixed and rigid kind of thing, things. Yeah. So last of the last ones. So when thinking back to 2019, the Insight Conference, um, what, 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 what uh, memories do you have of that conference? What kind of conference is it? so that people can be looking forward to the next edition of that. It was a very mixed conference in terms of all different kinds of topics and interests people had from biology to psychology to more artistic people, 
creative people. I was really impressed by the young people that they are so enthusiastic and brought in so much energy and also the mind people. I was really surprised how this group was uh, looking forwards and not backwards to the 60s. Uh, they really have a, a vision that uh, attracts me. Thank you for all the praise. And we are really looking forward to discussing with you on Insight 2021. Thank you.